All right, hi guys, it's me, Teacher Jane here, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the layers of the Earth, okay? But before we start our lecture, there are 10 words I want you to know before we start explaining so you can understand it more, okay? So, the first one is layer, layer, blawa chan, mi lai lai chan, minerals, minerals, blawa tad, thickness, thickness, blawa kwam na, temperature, temperature, Blawa unapum Molten Molten Blawa lom lalai Silicon Silicon Tat silicon Magnesium Magnesium Tat magnesium Aluminum Aluminum Tat aluminium Iron, iron, tat lick. Crumble, crumble, blawa sit lick lick noi noi ka. All right, so now that we're done with the vocabularies, let's go. Okay, hi guys, so now let's continue with our lecture because we finish our vocabularies. So our title of the video today is about layers of the earth, okay? So I like to imagine the earth like a cake. The cake has many, many layers. And if I took a knife and cut the earth and took a piece out of it, this is what I would see on the inside. Many different layers. So in this picture, there are different colors that shows different layers. The most outside one is in brown, then red, orange, and yellow. So first, let's talk about the most top layer, the layer where everything is the mountains, ocean, people, volcano, whatever, you name it, which is the brown layer here, and it's called the crust, all right, the crust. So, the crust is also very easy to remember because on the bread, you see this brown part? It's also called the crust. So any layer that is on the most outside is called crust. Do you see how similar a bakery and the earth layers are? All right, so the crust is 1% of the earth's mass, okay? Guys, it's mass, not weight. So if you don't understand the difference, I recommend you to check out my other video where I explain the difference between mass and weight. All right, let's come back to our layers. So the crust layer is made up of rocks and minerals. So there is a lot of minerals in the crust layer. So I don't want to list it here, but I will talk about it as the last topic of this video, so please continue watching. All right, so next is the thickness. Let's talk about the thickness. The thickness of the crust layer is 43 kilometers, okay? So I think it is quite thick. But as you will see later on in this video, other layers are more thicker than the crust, okay? All right, so that's about the crust. And now we're going to talk about the layer below the crust, which is colored red here. 
in this picture and it has a really really cool name it's called mantle 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 and look at this guys mantle is 70 percent of the earth's mass that means it's a lot bigger than our crust the place where we live in okay and the mantle is made of silicon magnesium aluminum and iron Ooh, magnesium oxygen all right so those are the four main minerals in the mantle layer now let's talk about the thickness look at the thickness it's a 2900 kilometers it is thicker than the crust a lot thicker another piece of information you have to know about the mantle is the temperature all right so the temperature in the mantle layer is 500 to 2000 degrees celsius it's very very hot guys i don't think humans could live there all right we'll burn more than burn we'll dissolve away okay all right so that's the information of mr mantle so now I'm going to talk about the last layer of the earth, which is called the core. And now you're probably asking, but teacher Jane, there's two colors. Why? Here's why. But before that, let's look at how many percent it makes up. So it's 30% of the earth's mass and it's still bigger than our crust. Okay. So why are there two colors? There are two colors because the core is separated into an outer core because it's on the outside and the inner core because it's on the inside. Yes, easy to understand. All right, so now let's look at the minerals. So their minerals are similar to each other. They are both made up of iron and nickel okay iron nickel however the difference is here this word molten on the outer core and solid on the inner core all right so if it's molten i want you to think of a volcano okay volcano all right and when the volcano explodes boom there is lava all right lava 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 so molten has the same feeling the same consistency as lava okay so when you think about molten think about lava while in the inner core the iron and the nickel is solid okay it's solid so it's hard it's something really hard so why does this happen because inside the inner core there is a really high pressure all right and when there is high pressure it pushes the molecules together very very tight and when molecules come together and compact together they form a state of matter which is solid okay so um i'm not sure if you guys could remember this three states of matter three states of matter which is solid liquid and gas and the atoms are drawn differently right solid is very stuck together liquid is a bit farther apart while gas is super far apart and they could travel around all right so that's a little review of three states of matter states of matter okay all right so now let's talk about the thickness so 
The thickness in the outer core is 2,200 kilometers, while the thickness in the inner core is only 1,270. So in terms of thickness, the outer core is the winner. All right, he's thicker. All right, so when I think about this, I think of lava and I think lava is like a bowl of smoothie. So you like thick bowls of smoothie, right? So it's thicker. <laughs> All right, that's a little dumb way how I remember it. Okay, so now let's look at temperature. All right, temperature of the outer core is 6,000 degrees Celsius, but in the inner core, it's 7,000, okay? So, all right, so I'm not sure if you guys remember in the beginning where we talked about the crust and there is a lot of minerals. Now, I want to talk about it, okay? So let's talk a bit more information about the crust so it makes sense. So the minerals in the crust are oxygen, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, calcium, sodium, potassium, and iron. Okay, so that's a lot of um, minerals. And if you guys need to remember it, yes, please take your time and remember these minerals. So now let's talk about the thickness, okay? So before I talk about the thickness, I want to tell you that the crust is just like the earth. The crust also has its own layer, okay? It's like a cake on top of a cake. So this is the layers of the crust, okay? So let's take a look at the thickness first. So the crust is divided into a continent, which is the land, okay, the land and the ocean, okay? So if you guys remember from at the beginning of the video, the thickness of the crust is 40, three kilometers and that's because 35 plus 8 is 43 so that's it very easy and simple all right so now let's look at the layers of the crust so i tried to make this as simple as possible so on top of the first layer you have your grass your trees whatever now below that layer is called a hummus, okay? The letters are not nice, hummus. And below the hummus is a soil layer, all right? And the soil is divided into topsoil because it's on top here and subsoil because it's below, all right? So that's the soil layer. And the layer below the soil layer are the rocks, okay? The rock layer. So the rock, again, is divided into two, just like the soil. So there's the weathered rock over here, okay? Where in this layer, all the rocks are crumbled, okay? They're crumbled, very small, crumbled rocks. So they are separated and they're really far from each other. And the layer below the weathered rock is called the bedrock, okay? So when you say the word bed, you think of a really big bed that we lie down on. So the rock, similar to a bed, is one big sheet, okay? One big sheet of bed, okay? That's my bed and the feet. Yeah, so the rocks and the bedrock is one flat piece. Okay, so that's about the continent. Now let's talk. Okay, so that's about the continent layer where there are five, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, there's five layers. And below all this continent layer is the ocean. Okay, so you can't forget about our ocean. So in Discovery Channel or National Geographic, you'll see people dive down really, really deep. And yeah, that is the reason why. <laughs> okay, so if you translate this picture, okay, into a 
real life picture this is how it would look like look at all the layers guys okay so you can compare and contrast all right so that is all i want to talk about and now let's go to some questions okay so question number one how many layers does the earth have the answer is three okay crust mantle which is in the middle right and core okay it's a really easy letter to remember c m c c m c number two what is the hottest layer so if you remember the hottest layer was the inner core so our answer is core all right yay we finished our two questions and if you have any other questions please leave a comment down below and i will try to get back to you okay bye